Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we got a nice uh, Beatles update here. We got a good bit of 45s and LPs to show, some solo stuff and some um, group stuff from the Beatles. So I had a um, kind of a off weekend, kind of a relaxing weekend. So I decided to hit a uh, local record store here and see what they had. And um, I got some, uh, got some good quality stuff. And um, I think we're just going to jump right into it. And um, we're going to start off with the 45s here. All these are going to be solo stuff. And we're going to start off with George here. And from kind of the, uh, the kind of the tan star line, we have Dark Horse backed with you. So kind of a mismatch, a mismatch of um, A sides there. Not too sure when this was released, but um, it looks like it's hardly been played at all and it comes with the original uh, Starline uh, company sleeve which is a nice touch and that is the only George Harrison 45 today and now we got some Paul McCartney stuff um, a lot of got a couple of foreign uh, picture sleeves here and just kind of some foreign pressings here so first up we have Band on the Run, backed with Zoo Gang. So I believe this is the 1975 re-release from the UK. There's the record, also in good shape. And I believe Zoo Gang is just an instrumental, I believe. All right, now we're going to head over to Mexico with this uh, EP here. And uh, this contains Monkberry Moon Delight, Dear Boy, Uncle Albert, and Heart of the Country. And it actually is a, uh, a 33 RPM, 33 compact um, EP with a nice solid label there with the full apple there. It looks nice. So that was pretty cool. And again, there's the picture sleeve one more time. Same picture front and back. And that's the um, translation for Monkberry Moon Delight. So that's kind of interesting. Alrighty. Next up, we got a couple from France here. And next up, we have Let Me Roll It. And in the back, <laughs> nothing too much there. And um, front side is Jet. Sorry, A side is Jet. B side, Let Me Roll It. Nice apple label there from France. And that was also, that was from 1975. And another one from 1975 from France. We got Let It Go. Back with You Gave Me the Answer. With some, a little bit more interesting of the back side of the cover, some more advertisement. On the capital here. Again, looks very nice condition, cool label, Venus and Mars. And that'll do it for the Paul McCartney 45s. Next up we have Ringo. We have Private Property and Stop to Stop and Take the Time to Smell the Roses. Uh, this is also from France on the uh, Boardwalk label. Nice shape again. And uh, these two Ringo 45s are going to be from 1981. And the next Ringo 45 comes from Spain. We have Rack My Brain and Rummy Is My Madness. Also from the Stop and Smell the Roses album. And again, oh, this one's going to be on the uh, RCA Victor label from Spain. Alrighty, and then the last 45 we have from John. And I guess this is kind of still technically sealed as the sticker is not broken. And I can't get the 45 out. So I'm going to leave it like that. And we have Woman backed with just like starting over. So kind of another mismatch 
of A sides put together, so different release and pressing from 1981. So that those are pretty cool to have uh, two A sides together. Um, must have been some sort of re-release um, through that time. And now we're on to the LPs. I have about I have three Beatles albums, and then got one solo promo. 12 inch and then I also have something kind of just Beatles related so we're going to start off with the Red Album and unfortunately the corners cut off this record store had had literally a crate full of white albums that had these uh, cutoffs here they were mostly um, UK white albums from like the 1981 um, time frame so I've I went through all of those, and I do I did pick up a white album, and then he also had a whole other crate of Beatles albums that had these cutoffs for like kind of defects, but the records were like near mint. So the only problem with these was that the corners cut off. But um, as I'll show you, these records are in really nice shape, and these are UK pressings, and I, was, I heard that these were supposed to sound really good. So I was okay to have a corner taken out of it for some nice sounding Beatles uh, albums. So, came with the inner sleeves here. And here is side one. And uh, these are 1973, came out 1973, first pressing of these albums. And I did pick up a blue album as well as I'll show after this. But um, these records are in really, really nice shape. So, I'm excited to hear what these sound like compared to my U.S. pressings, but um, I heard that these uh, red and blue albums from the U.K. is supposed to sound really good. So there's record one. I'll show the gatefold real quick. Bring it back. And record two. Again, really nice shape. All right, now we'll move on to the blue album. Cover is a little bit uh, faded compared to the other one, but um, the records are in still nice shape. Again, there's the corner taken out. Uh, same, same gatefold. Blue inner sleeves here. And here's record one. Again, really nice shape. I could just clean it up just a little bit, just from kind of just paper particles, really. And um, get this back in the sleeve here. One moment. I do, I will put these in some nicer uh, inner sleeves as well once I get back to my, um, to my house. I'm still at my dorm currently, but, um, just excited to get back home and get to play these. There we go. And record two. All right, so I do have one more Beatles album, and as I said earlier, he had a crate full of white albums, and most of them, again, were from the 1981 reissue time frame, uh, UK uh, pressings, but he did have a couple that I went through all of them just to try to find one that either didn't have a corner cut out or just kind of the best condition, but they're all pretty much the same. But I did find some different countries, um, like Germany, uh, Holland, Sweden, and then there was um, white vinyl from France, but it didn't have a cover. So that was kind of unfortunate. But uh, I ended up picking up this one. And the spine really beat up. But there is a, a number at the bottom. It's a 752,074. 
but this album here, I ended up picking the one up from from Holland. And again, these were pretty much unplayed. So I think this is a reissue from the 80s, which makes sense from all the other uh, albums there. But um, pretty, pretty cool Apple label there. And again, you can tell these look like they've hardly been played, if never played at all. And um, it actually kind of came with the oddly lined uh, inner sleeve to probably original from the um, time period, I guess. So kept them in nice shape. So happy, to, looking forward to play uh, play these um these three albums here, the double albums, red, blue, and white. Whenever I get home, so. Alrighty, we got record two. And the last side. And then it was also weird because next to the crate was just like a whole pile of posters and then the uh, the portraits. Um, they seem to kind of have like some water damage to them. And I, I didn't really want to go through all the, the portraits. They were, they were kind of beat up too. So I ended up just picking out a poster just to have. So nothing really too special about that one. But uh, again, unfortunately, the spine is a little beat up. Um, I'll try to get this in a sleeve as soon as I can. And uh, there's the back. And uh, yeah, pretty interesting. Um, fine, if I ever go back to that um, record store again anytime soon, I'm sure you'll have some white albums left. I'll probably pick up a UK uh, copy uh, from 1981 kind of reissued uh, frame. So. Next up, we have a George Harrison uh, promotional 12 inch single here. And this is I Don't Want to Do It from uh, the Porky's Revenge film. And this is on the Columbia label. Let's see if I can take this out here. But uh, yeah, it just comes in a black sleeve. And I had a uh, promo stamp up there. And. When I first saw this, I was kind of confused to see a George Harrison um, song or album on the Columbia label. But then I found out it was from the movie, which made a little bit more sense. I'm not sure if I ever heard the song before, but um, again, very nice shape. And uh, yeah, I'll be interesting to hear what this song is once I get home. All right. And now for the last record, this is going to be kind of Beatles related. And this is a Paul McCartney's brother's album, uh, McGear in the Shrink Wrap. And um, I was just kind of curious what this sounded like. Never listened to it. Um, again, it's in really nice shape. Uh, here's the inner sleeve. And um, I know this was produced by Paul McCartney, if I'm not mistaken. This came out in 1974 on the Warner Brothers label. Yeah, produced by Paul McCartney. Here's the back. So it's produced by Paul McCartney up here. And uh, yeah, so I just thought it was the right time to pick it up and take a listen. There's the label. And that wraps up this um, Beatles update. I went to a couple antique store um, during this weekend. So I'll probably have another Beatles update showing what I got, just kind of some odds and ends um, from the antique stores and just kind of what I had uh, laying around for the past few months that necessarily weren't from a particular record store or just kind of like a grouping uh, for a good Beatles update. So hopefully you thought that was an interesting uh, set of uh, Beatles stuff and solo Beatles stuff. And um, thanks for watching and look out for more Beatles updates in the future. Thanks.